the first of uh, Thursday's reviews is a uh, robots. Um, this was actually, as far as animated movies go, I would say this is actually one that I enjoyed. Um, so it starts off in a little town um, with uh, this this robot here, Rodney Copperbottom. Um, actually, it starts off with his parents. They're having a baby, but in this movie, they're all robots. So they actually have to build Rodney, and as he grows, they just add bigger parts onto him until he becomes a an adult. Um, and he wants to be he wants to be an inventor, so he decides to move to the big city and find this robot named uh, or find this robot named Mr. Big Weld because he wants to take his inventions to Mr. Big Weld. But by the time he gets to the city, he realizes that uh, it's not what it seems. This uh, robot named Ratchet has taken over and uh, basically completely uh, switched the company around to make it more of a profit thing rather than free parts for every robot like Mr. Big Weld wanted. Um, and basically um, his mother who runs the chop shop is taking all these old robots who are no longer um, able to get parts for themselves and turning them into the upgrades that uh, Ratchet wants these uh, old older robots to buy. So basically he calls all the older robots scrap metal and uh, Rodney runs into this robot named Crank and then he runs into his sister Piper later on um, and I believe Crank tries to steal parts yeah Crank tries to steal parts off Rodney at one point in time and that's when he runs into his sister Piper and uh, his their mother and a whole bunch of his other friends and uh, anyway at first um, when Rodney tries to go through the gate he doesn't make it because the gatekeeper basically keeps him out and tells him that he should have come two years earlier and uh, he would have had a job where he at Mr. Big Weld's um, corporation but now that uh, Mr. Big Weld isn't there anymore and it's now owned by Ratchet he'll never get a job there because Ratchet just kicks him out um, when he decides to go in there and uh, so throughout the movie they decide to go to the uh, Big Weld Ball thinking that Mr. Big Weld will be there and he's not. So Rodney and Crank dress up as these dress up to try to get into the party and then unfortunately they find out that Mr. Big Weld isn't coming and uh, Rodney's been fixing robots in order to keep them the way they are instead of them having to upgrade and Ratchet finds out that it's him that's doing it and there's this huge um, fight between the two of them basically Rodney's trying to bring make things the way they used to be or keep things the way they are and Ratchet's trying to make everything newer just to make profit and money for himself and his mother basically um, so anyway Rodney keeps fixing these robots and uh, just when you think he's going to turn around and go home, he decides to fight for what he believes in and go take on Ratchet at the end of the movie. And uh, Ratchet's mother gets melted in the um, in the scrapyard, which was actually kind of comical in a way. Because this is an animated movie. As far as animated movies go, I would say this is one that I enjoy. It had quite a cool few cool scenes, like when they're first traveling into the city and they're in this like ball type thing and it like goes down these tracks and flips through all these um different instruments I guess you would call them or different inventions that Big Weld's come up through throughout the city and it gets hit by a hammer and all this all this other cool stuff um, but yeah as, far, yeah, as far as animated movies go, this is actually one that I would enjoy, so I would give it a 5 out of 5, because it definitely deserves that. Um, and I do like the cast. Um, Ewan McGregor, Halle Berry, Greg Kinner, Mel Brooks, um, Amanda Bynes, Drew Carey, and Robin Williams was the one who played, um, sorry, was the one who played Crank. And uh, Rodney was played by 
Ewan McGregor, and Piper was played by Amanda Bynes. And uh, Ratchet, I believe, was Greg Kinnear, or K Kinnar, I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. But uh, anyhow, I think that's basically the whole story for this movie. Um, and I've gone over some of my favorite scenes. The bat, the battle scene at the end between, um, you think you think that uh, uh, Ratchet's mother might win the battle because she has a lot of uh, workers behind her, but then um, Piper comes in and saves the day, and uh, uh, they all live happily ever after because. Rodney does find Mr. Big Weld, but Mr. Big Weld's basically given up. He said that if Ratchet has beaten Mr. Big... Um, Mr. Big Weld says if Ratchet can beat him, he'll definitely beat Rodney. But Rodney is determined to uh, prove him otherwise. And he says when they're leaving Mr. Big Weld's house, he says all I wanted to do was grow up to be just like him. And uh, I guess that really hit Mr. Big Weld because he comes back and says that he'll fight alongside Rodney to make things right because when Mr. Big World grows up he wants to be just like Rodney and so at the end of the movie um, Rodney's dad is um, basically becoming one of the robots that can't get spare parts anymore unfortunately due to Ratchet taking over the company so Mr. Big World after they win um, goes back to the city where um, Rodney lives and actually gives um, Rodney's dad spare parts enough for like two of him basically so that was very nice and uh, then Rodney wants his dad to fulfill his dream of being a musician so there's a big musical scene at the end but this wasn't a musical movie at all it was actually just a regular animated movie without singing or anything it's not like a Disney movie so um, yeah and I would say that's pretty much it for this review. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe. If you've seen this movie before, leave your rating of it and your thoughts of it. Um, if you haven't and this review helps, well then, drop a like on this video. Um, and I will see you guys later today with a review of, or I guess Thursday, with a review of The Happening. Because actually, Robots was the first review for Thursday. I just don't have an intro for it right now. So, bye-bye for now.